Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel and in this video guys, I've got some really important Luna news to share with you. If you are still holding Luna or USC, make sure you watch this video till the end. Also guys, in my previous video, I just talked about the news and didn't really cover what's going on with the price. I'll talk about the price, but at the moment, it's all about the news. What is going to be the proposal that goes ahead? What's going to be the airdrop? How is the project going to work? Those are the really important thing for any successful Luna project to make a comeback. But in this video, I will touch on uh, the price as well it's really important to look at what's happening because although the volume is low there might be a nice setup to buy Luna I will share that with you at the end of the video so guys let's get before I get started with the video if you do enjoy this kind of content do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel it really helps with a YouTube algorithm and promotes this channel, this video to more people and hopefully give Luna a pump or, or at least share with honest opinion with what's happening with Luna. So do hit that like button and I am doing a live stream tomorrow, 8, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. UK time. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button so you're notified when we are going live. So guys, let's get started with the video now. I'll just quickly review the proposal, the proposal that um, Do Kwan has uh, come forward to and this is, the, this is what's going to be going ahead with is that Terra will create a new chain without algorithmic stablecoin. The old chain will be called Terra. Classic token will be Luna C. And the new chain will be called Terra. Token Luna will be the new token. The airdrops will be shared across you know, the Luna stakers, the holders, UST, and developers for the Terra ecosystem. Network security to be incentivized with token and inflation. Target staking rewards 7% P per annum. And um, go watch my full video. I, I talk about you know, the percentage airdrops you could look to get. And if you still want to hold all Luna, that's probably one of the only reasons why you could look to hold Luna. Because let's just clarify this. Uh, I'm still getting lots of messages saying, oh, Rocco, is it, is it good to buy Luna? Because if Luna goes to $1, I can make this much money. Guys, that's not how cryptocurrency works, guys. It, it, it's, you know, I'm not saying it won't ever go back to $1, but something crazy needs to happen and and I'll, I'll come back to the technical analysis at the end of the video but just to make this point you could just keep hodling and the price could keep dumping like 90 percent 90 percent so um if I go back to my post the other day, I talked about, you know, if, if something drops 90%, that doesn't mean that it can't drop another 90%. So this was the post. I look at how many times Luna has dumped 90%. So please don't just keep hodling. A really good strategy is, you know, you could look to exit and you could look to buy back in when there is a better opportunity. If you come, if we see Do Kwan come up with an amazing solution, there's Luna pumping again. Luna, you know, makes a nice structure, starts breaking out. Start buying again. You'll be buying slightly higher, but just mowing in or just hodling for hope they're not strategy that those works and i posted exactly when we exited if you follow this youtube channel or, or join our trading group i posted the exact entries when i exited i think usd was at 94 cent and uh, luna was just below 45 that's when we exited you can go watch all those videos but it's a really important please don't get wrecked i'm seeing so many people still you know i saw someone lose um, lose money by buying luna at one cent and i asked him why did you buy it and he didn't really have an answer so make sure you have a really good reason or a trade plan before you buy if you are interested in learning about our strategies i'll leave the links below for you to check out but please please whether you follow my strategy or someone else's have a plan so um Let's talk about some key news now. So critics blast Duquan saying Terra could have saved Luna by burning 6.5 trillion coins with 1.3 billion reserves. So Duquan and Terra are coming under a lot of pressure. There's, you know, protect, there's not rumors, there's facts that, you know, Duquan dissolves Terraform Labs. He hasn't really given a good answer. The answer that he gave is that he, he, he shut it down and he just, he shut it down way before and it just took a lot of time for it to shut down. And it was a coincidence that it got shut down a week before but there's rumor not rumors there's a strong chance south korea is gonna come after dukwon and he could potentially have criminal um you know i'm not i'm not gonna say jail but he's, he could have you know a lot of legal issues that come up and that's not really gonna help uh, with what luna and terra is doing uh, going to do so uh, you know some are already pointing terra from labs and dukwon claiming the two entities dukwon being the community leader and the de facto owner had played a part in fleecing investors of billions of do dollars and um, that were turned into pennies when luna ust crashed and you know luna held around 1.3 billion in reserves meant to kept keep luna ust stable at prices in that this the fund could have roughly bought 6.5 trillion luna to be burned possibly sparked a price swing to reverse the damage so that's something he could have done he's not done that and again that is something this there's a lot he could have done to you know protect us the binance ceo is saying the entire us incident may have been avoided if lfc used their reserves when the dpeg was at five percent and you know we have to take what 
you know, you could take what I say with a pinch of salt, but someone like Binance CEO, you've got to respect his opinion. And he's saying the foundation guard could have done more. And I touched on this before, but all this, if they had done it, they would have lost more money, but it would have helped Luna going forward. I think it would have brought us more trust because one thing that I've asked myself personally to do quite, and I've only got a small Twitter account, um, but you guys can ask him as well, is what, what did, can he show us proof of all the transactions? You know, there are rumors that he let some whales sell UST when UST was at um can I see still see the UST price? I can still see the UST price. He let uh, the the UST price was at right like, ten cent, and he let some whales exit UST around fifty sixty cent to the dollar. So that is absolutely ridiculous. You know some. You know, people that I know lost life-saving invested trade again. If you are investing those stuff, you, sh you know you shouldn't be trading. Watch, go watch this video. If you want to save yourself, I, I don't know how this has got only 200 views. This is the most important video. I've been making this same video every year since 2018. You know, Bitcoin price was around 6k. I just talk about like buying some Bitcoin and trading. Go watch that video and please don't go all in. Uh, my trading strategy, if I just quickly review, I, I review this all the time. Is staying in the game staying protected and and when we do get those crazy moves up those crazy pumps that's when you make life-changing money so keep your capital lose five percent ten percent you know learn our strategy even if you join now you'll probably make five ten percent we've shorted bitcoin which made us some money but you're not going to make crazy money the crazy money is made in this bull run what i try and teach is protect your wealth and strategies to capitalize when we do get those big moves so that is the most important strategy and go watch that video if you haven't already so uh, those are a few things that, that he could have done better and he hasn't done and uh, like i've said guys if if, if this terror it, so the, the question, the important update is, will you do you want to hold for a potential, up, uh, you know, airdrop, uh, even after the airdrop, if you haven't sold, that might be a good place to sell and then buy back in after again. You do what you want to do with your money. I've shared with you what I did and I sold when we got back below 45, I posted the exact stop level. When I got out of loot around about 94 cent for UST when it was depegging, but you, you can do what you decide to do. There might be a pump coming, and that's why I said it's a really important update for Luna holders. There might be a pump coming with all the news that's happening. Um, but that could be short lived, and unless unless they could literally make the biggest comeback we've seen in cryptocurrency, I see the price keep going down, unfortunately. And um, so, we've got to be really, really careful. Another thing is this slightly related topic Justin Sun still thinks algorithmic stablecoin is a, a way forward, and he's launched his own stablecoin, USDD. And I'm not sure if I've, I've not put any money into USDD yet. I believe you get 30 or 40 percent APY, which is crazy. But with what's happened with Terra Luna, uh, getting back the confidence for usdd is going to be very difficult but i'll probably make another video on it in the future and to round up my thoughts on what's going on um i i probably preferred what sizu has said you know when you get rid of something and change into another project uh, that you know leaves a bad taste with investors will investors trust luna again he's very disappointed with how usd luna in incident was handled by the terror team we requested their team to restore the network burn the extra minted luna and recover the usd peg so far we've not gotten any positive response so with the, how badly they treated it do you still trust luna with your money comment below let me know do you still trust luna with your money yes there could be a little bit, bit of a pump coming up with uh, the airdrop and the news coming there might be a rally of 50% or even 100% but are you going to risk your money in my opinion I won't I've, I'm being completely transparent there's still YouTubers telling you to buy Luna there's one famous YouTuber who put like 5 million uh, into Luna and that turned into like 50 or 1000 bucks in the next few weeks so i'm sharing with you what I'm doing I'm always you know risk management risk management protect your capital protect your capital and I'm not uh, sharing with you like buy Luna now, make money. I'm not going to share that. There's lots of other YouTubers for that. So going back to technical analysis, trading setup wise, uh, one of the setups I'm looking at, and I might look to take this myself, is this. This will be just a trade setup. I'll have a stop in place if I do take it is this support level this support level is quite a strong support level and with the proposals coming and all the upgrades that Duquan is trying to do, this could have a nice little rally and this even this move from here to there is about a 10x so that could be a nice little trade i will be looking at that and um, that is my setup so the price level i'm looking at is around 0 0.0005 which is absolutely crazy i'll have stopped below this low that low currently is uh, um or you can you can count out how many zeros there is but one 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 three that's where the uh, current price is i'll have stopped below there and i'd look to play that bounce uh, 
could, could potentially be a 10x but it really depends on the news but if it starts breaking back below i am not interested and another thing just to repeat what i said at the start of the video if you're still holding luna you might want to sell into that pump and again it depends on what it is so if you have a ten thousand dollar account and you've only got like ten dollars luna there's no point in selling or if you have a hundred k one million uh, luna and you've only got one thousand two thousand dollars worth of luna in here there's no point even selling because the money is so less so it depends on your situation again i'm not holding luna but for me, long term, um, you know, rather than buying now and losing, it could go another 90%, which I've shared with you. The better strategy is wait for a nice update. Can Luna perform as an L1? I talked about, you know, potential Luna succeeding as an L1, but it's not a given. It will take a lot, lot, long time for them to deliver, gain trust. And it can happen in crypto, but it takes a long time. And if that happens, we can always buy back higher, guys. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll let you guys know when I do buy and I'll share with you all the setups. But that is the video. So thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Go Luna!